Hi everybody, Sandra Enns here from Remax Select on Thursday afternoon. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm so excited to have with me Mr. Demetrios Stefani. He, Demetrios, good, good guy. I get, he's like, he's just so awesome. He works at Midland Appliances and if you ever, ever have a question or you need to know something about your appliances uh, or something's wrong or what to choose, he's your guy. So um, today we thought we'd talk about dishwashers because dishwashers are probably being used even more so than they ever have and uh, some care tips and also what to look for if you need to replace your dishwasher. So without further ado, here is Mr. Demetrio Stefano. Yay! Hi guys, and hi Sandra. Thanks so much for the opportunity. Really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, we're, we're touching a little bit on dishwashers. Uh, and I am in our Midland showroom in our Thermador and Bosch section. So we're going to talk a little bit. Well, I've got the specific Bosch dishwasher here. So we're going to touch on that uh, because it's here. Um, but yeah, we're going to address uh, a few different like common either misconceptions or common um, tips and tricks that people can use to kind of better utilize their dishwasher a little bit. Um, things like, uh, for example, detergents. A lot of people ask, you know, is it, is it um, liquid detergents or is it powder detergents or can you use the pucks or uh, wh what's going to be best? Well, every Bosch, or actually every dishwasher, when you look at the user manual, it's going to say you must have some sort of rinse agent some sort of whether it's jet dry or, or whatever else right. it'll need some sort of rinse agent because water in dishwashers now instead of using you know 30 40 gallons of water per cycle like, like they used to use decades ago now they use four to six uh so much less water consumption yay planet um energy efficiency is going through the roof but drying is what's suffering from that um so yeah, you always got to have some sort of rinse agent in there. And most of those pups, they have both the detergent and the rinse agent. Uh, and then some people are using liquid detergent. Nothing wrong with it. It's going to make dirty dishes clean. Some people do notice a little bit more residue uh, after the rinse cycle is done. I usually recommend powder detergent or the pups because they give you ample amounts of detergent. Um, uh, the powder breaks down a little bit slower. Uh, it allows it to work into the dishes in, and get a bit better sudsing throughout the whole cycle of the cleaning. Whereas with a, a liquid detergent, oftentimes it can just, in the first drain cycle, uh, most of it is already extracted. So to, to start washing again, you're washing with just regular clean water. Um, powder breaks down slower, more cleaning action. Really great. Uh-huh. Powder, um, powder, powder is the way to go, you're thinking. Okay. Yeah, powder or pucks. I mean, I, I've got the big old Costco bin of all those pucks there. Um, uh, it, those Cascade mixed pucks, and they work just fine. They actually, okay. it's, it's probably overkill in ter detergent. I probably don't need that much. If you are using powder detergent, you need a teaspoon or less. It's really that small because there's that little water that's actually being ah. used. Okay. Um, what else? What else? Um, oh. Um, so I, I a quick question that's yeah. always an interesting one, and I, I'm wondering about that. Do we need to pre-rinse the dishes before putting it in the dishwasher? Okay, I love this one. I love this one. Um, uh, yeah, and so the, the misconception that you know both of our parents would have had was back in the back in the day um people were rinsing their dishes they needed to because the dishwashers weren't working as aggressively as they are now they weren't utilizing the jet propulsion and the spray and everything to the degree that they are now now this these machines are built to a science um very detailed and comprehensive science um so rinsing your dishes all dishwashers now and for the last maybe 10 years, uh, maybe 15 years, have what's called turbidity sensing. Okay. Before your eyes glaze over, I'm gonna explain that as easily as I can. Basically in the, in the pump itself, it senses the dirtiness of the water. Uh, so if your dishes go in relatively clean because you've rinsed them all, your dishwasher thinks, well, I'm not doing my job. I'm not making the water that's coming in cleaner so what do I need to do then? I need to keep running. I need to keep that cycle going until I've achieved a level of clean cleanliness past what I was originally reading. So you put your dishes in clean, 
You turn on the cycle, that standard two hour cycle, it's now turned into a two and a half hour, three hour cycle. Now your dishwasher is working in overtime and it doesn't need to. It's <laughs> And then the motor burns out and you're back in here at Midland buying another dishwasher in a few years and I don't want that. I want you coming back for referrals and not necessarily for, uh, for your dishwasher breaking down. Uh, so, so if your dishwasher is less than 15 years old, you likely do never, ever have to rinse your dishes. Bingo. Now, uh, now that isn't to say you don't uh, scrape off the big chunks of food. Uh, get rid of the um, But anything that's soil, like for me personally, I have a dishwasher-friendly pan that gets a lot of stuff baked in it. Right. And a bachelor, so I don't always load up my dishwasher five minutes after my cooking, sometimes it's later that day. Right. Uh, and it goes in with stuff caked on. Right. No problem. No problem. Really? Wow. That's interesting. Which segues a little bit to uh, the next point, which is okay, if you're not, if you've missed some of those chunks of food, or spinach tends to never break down in water, um, mm. if, if you're like, me in my early 20s before i knew anything about appliances um all dishwashers have filters for some people they're already they're already going oh well i know this but some people don't so right down here every dishwasher has some level of filter mm -hmm. and it's pop up like this okay it's going to be taken out you can soak it you can rinse it you can do whatever you want to it but usually stuff will congeal in here or get kind of gummed up over the course of a month or two months or, or what have you. So it's worth it for a customer or homeowner to check that filter every couple few months. Me personally, mine seems to be okay. I, I can go three months without ever really needing to give my rinse. It's just don't let it get on to the couple year mark. Uh, so if you've got tenants or if you've got renters who are using your appliances and you're not there, that's a good point to, to give them. Um, for general care and maintenance of the appliances while they're right. renting. Right. That looks easy enough, and I don't even want to know what mine looks like after 11 and <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd uh, rather talk about yours than mine. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I'm going to be going and doing this right after we're done. Uh -huh. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, um, so any other, if you had one other quick tip to give people, what would that sure, be? Sure, sure, sure. Um, and whether, whether you're buying a new dishwasher for a new reno or whether you're replacing your existing one, um, dimensions, 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 kind of like uh, location, location, location in the real estate market. Um, uh, dimensions are so key and everybody, uh, we get a lot of people who come in going, I need, I need a standard size dishwasher. Okay, uh, well a standard size is so specific nowadays because um, putting it plainly, your dishwasher needs 24 inches in width for the opening. That should be standard. But in a lot of homes, they built to fit a specific model of dishwasher, usually a Mila or a Bosch, and they can go 23 and 5 eighths wide. If you only have 23 and 5 eighths wide, a different brand is not gonna fit in your home. So if you've got 24 inches wide from gable to gable, not the dishwasher itself, you are fine. You will get every dishwasher in your home as long as you have the height next. So the height, and this is a panel ready dishwasher, their own custom panel went on here. You can have stainless steel, white, black, whatever. Um, so you wanna measure from the lowest point of your floor mm -hmm. or the highest point of your newest floor. So some people only have new floors that go up to here. Yeah. Then you want the, the smallest height is what you're aiming to achieve here. Um, so you measure your height from the top of the floor to the bottom of the countertop. If you've got 34 inches, you know what? You've got 95% of the dishwasher market ready to go anytime. But some people, especially in older homes, they built their counters just a little bit shorter. If you get down to 33 and a half, that's a trickier height. That's when you have to start getting brands where you can remove the leveling legs on and really sink it down. Some also allow you to take, remove a top trim piece to get it just under that 34 inch mark. But yeah, 33 and a half is definitely tricky. So knowing that before you go shopping is gonna save you a whole lot of restocking charges that nobody really wants to ding you with. Ah, see that I didn't know. I thought, all this, I thought that was the one appliance that <laughs> always, always standard. It was either the, the, the standard 
size one, as you said, or the apartment size one, which are the 18 inch ones or the littler one, baby ones. My um, favorite question, like what's standard? And I go, oh, I got a fridge and it's yay tall. And I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> no, fridges I know, that one I know. But dishwashers, I had no idea that you right. really do need to go measure that out. Um, so my favorite things about anything, I always like it to look nice. So um, is there any color trends or any kind of design things that are happening right now for 2020? You know, it's uh, integrated is, is the new wave. So anybody who's doing a new renovation, doing their own uh, custom cabinets or, or what have you, um, why not put those custom cabinets on your dishwasher? So you have this, maybe I can turn my camera around. That might be easier. Mm, um, you know what? I'm not with Zoom. Right here. How's that sound? Um, along here, there are I think three different dishwashers along here. But it opens up your space. Now you're not, your, your vision isn't being broken up by cabinet, 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 stainless, yeah. or white or black. Um, you're getting cabinets from wall to wall. Your fridge, uh, for example, can also be panel ready, uh, right there. Um, and again, it's wall to wall cabinets. You put on your own custom panels, you put on your own custom handles, and then everything integrates. So uh, color trend, absolutely, but it's usually based on the cabinets. Uh, outside of that, stainless steel still always very popular. Um, stainless is a very, very strong market presence, not going anywhere. White and black, always there, always, always, um, requested but um, not as common not as common so stainless is still the most popular one unless you're, you're going integrated and you're making it look like your cabinets which i i see quite a lot especially in new build product for sure um, it's a real great way to increase your resale value and uh and give your customers or give your um tenants or something uh, just a little bit extra as far as design gotcha. so that's you apart from just a just a cheap renovation, a cheap quick flip of, of, of appliances. Great, great, awesome. Well, this has been fantastic, Demetrius. Thank you so much. Thank um, you. Do you have your card with you that you can throw up, or, or I'm going to throw down your information below. So if anybody needs anything that they can contact you with, that absolutely. Would be yeah, no, no, no problem at all. And uh, yeah, I'm actually just walking over. I can uh, show you just a quick look at a few different stainless options because uh, design again comes very, very different. So here we have front controls, yeah. pocket handles, right. tubular handles, top controls, no panels or no um, logos, no handles. So it'll integrate with anything in your home. Right dish drawers now yes uh, the sky's the limit so if, if you're into stainless um you can get it sounds that way um and yeah uh, whether it's you know you're mixing matching brands or not everything will integrate there's there's a way to do it but that's my job to help with that yeah i know that's why i call you yeah um but yes so Maybe we can do this again and talk about some other exciting appliance too. Wow. Bring it on. Absolutely. I would love that. Uh, yeah. Fridges, hoods, hoods are, I can talk your ears off on those ones. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to keep them interested. Let's do fridges. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your day, Demetrius. And um, I'm going to put your contact information below that if anybody wants to contact you, uh, they are more than welcome to. Uh, Absolutely. Awesome. Well, have a fantastic day. Deal. Bye. Take care, guys.